If you guys haven't checked out Sebastian Jern on Instagram, check him out. I don't know him, but what he can do with some lights, some paint, some styrofoam, and a probe lens is truly remarkable, real talent. In this video, I am checking out a probe lens, and it is not one from Laowa. In fact, this is the brand new Astro Hiri 28mm f 13 2 to 1 macro probe lens. It solves the single greatest problem with that Laowa, and that was the price. How does 50% off sound? Because that is the price of this thing in comparison to the Laowa. So in this video, I'm gonna check out if this lens is worth the $700 price tag. This Astro Hori comes in a nice plastic and metal case with cutouts for every little piece of the kit. And it's good that this case is included as this is a specialty lens that most creators won't take out except for some unique rare shots. So I suspect it will sit in the case for much of its life. In here, there are some extra rubber covers for the Pro Barrel, a couple of microfiber pouches for both pieces of the lens, a USB power cable for controlling the LED light on the tip of the lens, and then you get to the lens itself. It consists of this long 13 inch barrel and the lens mount portion which has two gear rings on it. You put it together by locking the barrel in place and rotating the lock until tight. And there it is. Now all that is left is to plug in the USB cable and find a USB power source. I'm using this anchor power bank. And altogether you have a setup that's almost 18 inches long, weighing in at 732 grams. This lens is made out of metal and glass and the finishes are good. Starting at the rear, there is a metal mount with no electronic connections and no weather sealing gasket. Aster Hori on the barrel, 28mm f13 macro 2 to 1 on the side. And the first ring here is the focus. It's nice and smooth with even resistance through the rotation, which is about 270 70 degrees. It has gearing on it so you can easily attach a focus motor to rig it out however you'd like. There is a focal distance scale here in feet and meters as well. Up next is the aperture ring which is smooth and moves from f13 to f40. That's right, like the Ferrari. Now we move on to the tube part of the lens and at the rear there is a USB-C port for powering on that LED light as I mentioned already. The front of the lens is waterproof, about 25 centimeters or 10 inches worth of the front of the lens can be submerged into water or dusty environments without worry. Around the front there is a small front lens element with nine little LED lights all around it. Mounted on the camera, I would never take this out in public for fear of being ridiculed. And really with what this lens needs in terms of lighting, you will likely use it in a studio setting most of the time. So what can you shoot with this lens? Well, macro stuff obviously, portraits, although I wouldn't recommend it even even though it kind of works in a way. But what really sets this lens apart and what makes it unique is this extra long barrel because it allows you to stick this lens in places that you would never stick a normal lens, including a normal two to one magnification macro lens. The problem with this lens though is that you can't really use it handheld. Everything needs to be on a tripod or on a slider, especially if you are recording video. You also need a ton of light because the minimum aperture is f13 which means this lens isn't letting in a lot of light so you have to flood your scene with light so you can see where i'm going with all of this because when you buy this lens you can't expect to just be able to go out and use it without anything else you really need a tripod a slider a ton of lighting and to be able to set up a shot and invest the time and the resources and the energy, it's a bit of work. Now I don't have a slider, so I had to go and borrow this massive dolly from a friend of mine, and I tried to do some shots with this probe lens on this dolly, but I am no Sebastian Jern when it comes to using a probe lens. So let's talk about this lens's performance. It's a macro, so it's hard to mess up optically. It's all manual, so no technical problems can get in the way either. And it's an F13 lens, so it should be sharp as long as you have enough light. And it is. It performs well. Images are detailed and sharp as long as there is adequate light and as long as you are on a tripod or on a slider. This lens covers an APS-C 
and a full frame sensor, so I used both for my samples. The light on the front is bright, but not always bright enough, and you can't rely on it exclusively. I often found myself wanting to add additional fill light around where I was recording. The focus ring is a breeze to use. It's very easy to fine tune focus. It's not as wide as the 24 millimeter Laowa probe, but from the results, performance looks to be about as good. I've never tested the Laowa though, so I can't confirm that. What I can confirm though, is that this lens is $739 versus $1,600 for the Laowa. But Laowa hasn't just been sitting around on this probe design for three years. They have been innovating and recently came out with the Laowa 24 millimeter Peri probe, which adds a 90 degree periscope to the end of the lens, allowing for some crazy sideways action and the ability to capture even more impossible shots. That lens is $2,300. Anyway, let's get back to this lens. I think it's a good one and it's nice to see a new competitor come out on the market because as far as I know, there's only this one and the Laowa available. I haven't seen any other probe lenses out there, but again, I haven't really been searching for one either. Build quality is good. Uh, the optical performance is great. Uh, there's really little to complain about. It's a very unique, it's a very niche lens for sure. But if you are looking to create those impossible, very close to your subject macro shots, then you have to get something like this to achieve that. My friend Armando did a video two years ago about making a million dollar commercial for $500. Check that video out. He used a probe lens in a studio with a lot of lighting and it came out pretty cool. And again, with a few hundred dollars and a dedicated workspace, you could also do something like this and pump out commercial video for clients. The tools exist, the only thing that is needed is the vision and the creativity to pull it off. The last thing that I'll say is that a probe lens is probably one of the few lenses out there that many people rent instead of purchase because of, again, that specific, very unique use case. I'm seeing that the Laowa rents for about $100 for five days, so you'd have to use it for about 16 projects to make buying it worth it, whereas with this Astro Hori, if you use it for seven and a half projects or more, you may as well buy it instead of rent it just something to think about. All right, so that is it for my review of this 28 millimeter F13 two to one probe macro lens, very unique, very uh, different, but very similar to the Laowa. And I think it's a cool product if you're trying to get a unique perspective, that ultra wide macro look that uh, seems impossible, but is with tools such as this one. So. Uh, leave some comments down below as far as what your thoughts are on this lens. Uh, I'll leave some links down in the description, so check those out and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.